Now, whether you're cruising carry-on only or you are checking your bags, there's no question if you are flying to your cruise port, you have to be very intentional with what and how you pack. Hi there, I'm Ilana from the website lifewellcruise.com. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Now we recently flew to the cruise port for the first time in about seven years. So it's really been a while and I definitely had to be much more intentional about what I brought with me both in the airplane and as well what I decided to check in my luggage. Now in this video, I'm gonna share with you some essentials that you'll wanna bring with you on the airplane and specifically really for a cruise because there are some things you wanna make sure that you do have with you in your carry-on bag that you will use later on at your embarkation port and even on your cruise ship itself. Now, before I get started, I did wanna mention that if you like this video, if you find it helpful, informative or enjoyable in any way, then please do give this video a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Let's get started. So to start off, let me tell you about the luggage and the bags that we decided to bring for our flight and for our cruise. Now, what I decided on was in terms of inside the airplane, I brought a 21 inch carry on hard side piece of luggage. As well, I brought my nautical carry on bag. I just love that one. Now that was my husband's carry on bag. I also brought a tote bag. I'm gonna show it to you. I brought this um, tote bag that I decided to buy because it does have a zipper. So it's a little bit different than the tote bag that I usually use when I drive or when I go to the cruise port. I wanted something that was a little bit more secure. I'll share with you also how I organized that a little bit later on in the video. And we did have checked bags as well. So we were doing a seven day cruise with one day before our cruise and the checked bags that we decided to bring were 24 inches and also hard side pieces of luggage with of course good spinner wheels. Now I really debated if I should check luggage or cruise carry on only and definitely I could have cruised carry on only. I'll actually leave a video all about packing carry on only for a cruise at the end of this one if you do want to check that out but I just decided it would be a little bit easier for us if we did have checked luggage and at the same time I did have a direct flight. I also did a couple of things that gave me some assurance that if my luggage was lost well this would kind of save the day. I will share that later on in the video. So what do you need to pack for a flight? So starting off with the true essentials the first thing that I packed was basically my documentation folder and I was able to put this right into my tote bag and basically this had my boarding passes this even had uh, my cruise boarding passes and any other like information that I really needed to have printed this was all in this documentation folder now on your packing list you want to make sure that you also have your passports I never put this into my checked bag it's always in not even my carry-on bag it's really always in my tote bag or purse I want to make sure I really have this on me so I keep my passports in a passport holder and what's nice is there's like different zippered pouches so whether it's for documents whether it's for maybe a foreign currency for when you travel I just find that this is really convenient and I keep it right on me now you also want to make sure that you pack your liquids that you are going to be bringing onto the airplane they should be in a TSA approved clear pouch and of course you want to make sure you have the appropriate small sizes now just something to mention is that an aerosol hairspray you can't put that into your checked luggage so you want to make sure that that is um, in your carry-on bag if you do bring any and of course that it is the small size now what I brought onto the plane with me is basically I brought moisturizer that was something that I wanted to have with me um, lip balm by the way even though I have it in this pouch you can bring it um, outside of the clear pouch I did put my lip gloss right into this because it is a liquid now by the way any of the items that I do mention in this video I will leave them all linked down below in the description of this video now I'll share with you some of the things that I did put in my personal bag or the carry-on bag that I had right with me um, at my feet but I did want to share with you some of the things that I did put in that larger piece of well basically that carry-on suitcase now that carry-on suitcase let me show you it does have a combination lock so that was something really good because what I wanted to do was put any items that were a little bit more valuable so I did bring my Dyson Airwrap I put it in there I also put like a designer handbag that I was going to be using in the evening I put it in there I also made sure to bring two changes of clothes for both myself 
and my husband, I really did think about what happens if my luggage does get lost. I didn't think that that would happen, but if it did happen, I had uh, clothing for in Florida. So for like a t-shirt and a pair of shorts. I had a bathing suit for each of us. I had something to wear for the evening as well as a pair of pants or jeans that I can mix and match with another shirt. And very important, I had at least two days of undergarments for each of us and socks. Now we also had our laptop computer and some filming equipment that I was able to keep in my carry-on bag. But like I mentioned, it did have a combination lock. So we were able to lock it even though it was right above our heads. You just never know, sometimes you're sleeping and it just does give you a little bit of comfort, of peace of mind if you do have that combination lock. Now, if you've watched any of my past videos, then you know I do have some severe flight anxiety. So a lot of the things that I brought with me on the plane were really there to kind of also help to make the experience a little bit more comfortable and it definitely helped. Now in my personal bag or the carry-on bag that was right at my feet, I did have my iPad and I also had some AirPods and I definitely suggest bringing this. Download a few shows that you can watch on the airplane. My son actually downloaded for me. He just, he said, you're gonna like Below Deck. I've actually never seen it before. It's a little bit trashy, but that being said, it really kept me occupied. And the fact that I had these AirPods, well, it kept me from hearing the little sounds that you hear on the airplane. And as long as nobody panicked around me, nobody was, I kind of knew everything was okay. Now I also had my portable charger and my wire. I always bring this as well for even on cruises. When we go out on shore excursions, I always wanna make sure that I can keep my phone charged. Of course, I had gum. I had even two packs of gum. I had some snacks. I never did eat that granola bar. I had hair clips and I had hand sanitizer wipes. Now something very important to make sure that you do have on your packing list is make sure that you bring your prescription medications and your over-the-counter medications, but make sure that they are right on you in the airplane. Now, I also brought some Bonin with me, just in case we did get any motion sickness, we were absolutely fine, but if we did, then we would have it. And of course, we do use this on the cruise ship as well. And because I wanted to make sure that we were comfortable on the airplane, I also brought this neck pillow. Now, being honest, I didn't even end up using it, but my husband did use it and he was more comfortable. Now, something else that I brought and I didn't end up using on the airplane, but I would still bring it again because you never know is this scarf or this shawl. And this is something that I could wear also in the evening to cover my shoulders on the cruise ship, but it really is something good to fly with, at least to have either a light sweater or a shawl to kind of keep you comfy and warm in the airplane. Now, by the way, if you're going on a cruise and interested in keeping organized and cruise packing lists, I do have the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner. Now, the Lifewell Cruise Ultimate Cruise Planner is a 47 page downloadable printable cruise planner that you can choose the pages that you want and you can print them off as often as you need for as many cruises as you do go on. It'll help you to keep organized from the time that you book your cruise all the way through disembarkation. If you are interested in checking out what is included in the Ultimate Cruise Planner, I'm gonna leave all of the information linked down in the description below this video. AirTags, if you've been wondering if you should use AirTags the next time you cruise or travel, I would definitely say an absolute yes. What we did is I bought a package of four AirTags, along with, by the way, the keychains. They were sold separately, the keychain holders, but I did buy them because at least this way I could attach them inside my luggage or even on your handbag or anywhere you want. And you could use them, of course, when you're not traveling. Um, in any case, I did buy them and these were fantastic because when we took off, when we flew, I could tell that the luggage was with us. That was something nice. When we landed in Fort Lauderdale, I knew that the luggage was with me. When we were on our cruise ship, I could tell our luggage was on our cruise ship, even though it hadn't been delivered to our cabin yet. And basically it just gave me a lot of peace of mind. Just one thing not to worry about. And as I mentioned earlier, all of the different items that I mentioned, including the air tags, will be linked down below in the description of this video. A digital travel luggage scale. This is just so handy. If you are checking your luggage and you wanna make sure that you don't go over the weight that you're allotted for your checked luggage, you definitely want one of these travel luggage scales. Now, some other things to think about is to bring a water bottle. Now, what we did is we just bought water bottles once we were past security, but if you don't wanna buy those water bottles, you can definitely bring a refillable water bottle that you could use not only for your flight, but you can also use that on your cruise. Now, this is a tote bag organizer that I mentioned. Now, this goes right into the bottom of your tote bag, and it's pretty nice because you even have like a zippered area here. So when you have that big open tote bag, like if you have a long shawl 
or if you have something like this one, um, this is like the Lacoste one. I just found that it was such an easy one to travel with, which is why I bought that one. But even if you have an open tote bag, I really like this and I have used it in my other tote bag as well because it has all of these compartments, including a zippered compartment and place to put your lip gloss and different things. It makes it so much easier to find items. Now, something else to think about is what you're actually wearing on your flight, so your travel outfit. And just something to mention on the last day of your cruise, so when you're flying maybe back out, is you could wear that same travel outfit. Now, what we did is I just wore leggings and I wore a t-shirt and I wore a sweatshirt that was like a zippy sweatshirt. I really suggest wearing a zippy sweatshirt because if you are hot, you can take that off. And if you're cool, you can keep it on and you could just kind of feel a little bit more cozy and comfortable in the airplane. And also something really important is wear comfortable shoes. So you can wear a pair of sneakers and don't forget to wear socks because your feet might get cold. Now, another good way to keep organized is to use packing cubes. And of course you can use them in your checked luggage, but you can use them in your carry-on luggage as well. Now the carry-on luggage that I'm using and also the checked luggage it is by the brand Level 8, and this video is not sponsored, but I did do a sponsored video for them, and I really do love the luggage. So I did wanna still share with you, I do have a code, it's Cruise 10 So if you like the luggage, then go ahead, and I do have a link down below in the description of this video where you can get an additional 10% off. Now, I can't remember if I mentioned this earlier. I have a feeling that I did forget. It is to make sure to bring a book as well. This is something so handy, not only for while you're flying, but oftentimes, we're at the airport maybe a couple of hours early. So it really is good to have a book with you in case you do wanna kind of get off your phone and you wanna read a little bit. Now I hope that this video was helpful and I am gonna leave a video all about packing carry on only right after this one in case you do want to check that out. And of course I am gonna leave all of the information about the Ultimate Cruise Planner linked down below in this video. Please let me know if there's anything else that you think should be on a list of things to bring in the airplane when you are going to a cruise, please let me know down in the comments below. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a big thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And please subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. I would love to have you here within the Life While Cruise community. Bye for now and happy cruising.